and recently there's been a a, a very um, sort of synergistic um, project that's just kind of developed of its own accord uh, with um, some ideas that I was working with with a colleague from Wintech in Hamilton, Kent McPherson, and uh, and it's a he's a field he, one of his loves is field recording. I've worked with. Uh, uh, Kent on other projects in the Hamilton Fringe um, there was a project called The Unseen Mechanised Eye which was a, a project with uh, Kent on guitar and electronics and Yotam Levy on cello and myself on Donga Portal with um, Paul Nelson on, on visuals and lights and, uh, and, 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 and it was about drone and um, so Kent is a field recorder and uh, and um, has a new found love for Bernie Krauss and uh, and uh, eco and audio ecology and uh, and so um, we had an idea around developing a piece that had been ruminating within me for quite some time during my ethnographic research period where I'd read about dawn choruses being deafening. And, uh, and 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 uh, and then I I've been doing a little solo side project using uh, loops and um, lo- like insect loops and bird loops and um, kokako and kaka and tui and on garage band loops on my iPad and um, and uh, cicadas and crickets and having a night and day thing you know crickets with night birds and cicadas with day birds and um and playing tong portal with this and i did a show out at the roxy for wellington on a plate and uh, that was a three hour set um which was about developing this real kind of bush thing and using bush kai um so it was bush kai and tong portal um and uh and I really love that long form, taking it from, say, like a 45-minute long form show. Now, you know, being able to do two-hour, three-hour sets, which are kind of ecologically based. And there's this, that, that place is set by more than just the dream that's, um, that's brought on by the, by the pool or in, in the mind, but also physically through electroacoustic field recordings and so on. And I recognised uh, in some of these performances, I, I found myself turning the bird song down like it was too loud, and uh, and and I realised that I really had kind of no standard upon which to recognise how loud was too loud, um, and what was the archaic bush audio ecology like you know at, in the morning and dawn chorus and and so it's been an, uh, an idea that's been growing for a while you know what does the pre-contact dawn chorus how loud was it which um of course here's this noise musician again wanting to work with volume i think um if i'm going to be completely honest with myself and looking for an avenue to be loud and uh and um, so on discussion with um, Kent, you know, uh, around acousmatic performances and the idea of, of that and frequency and, um, and, and speakers without a, that, are, that are doing a live performance but without any actual kind of live element seemingly present. And, uh, and then on discussion with the school and with Sally Jane Norman, uh, there was a recognition of a number of synergies that are occurring for them at, at, at the moment. And um, and so we've got this performance coming up, uh, which is an octophonic artistic rendition um, of a pre-contact dawn chorus. It's artistic because basically we're, it's a composition. So we're going to use a bunch of field recordings um, and we're going to estimate or we're going to compose um, our idea of what a, a pre-contact dawn chorus sounded like. Um, but the project um, 
is seemingly taking on a life of its own where the idea is that it will be a series of um, performances and maybe even installations in the future. It's a it's a long-term project that is going to uh, be operating over a number of years. Um, it's going to be available to the New Zealand School of Music as a resource for whoever wants to be involved, whoever wants to extend that, say if there's a master's student who's into data sonification, um, and the idea of looking, taking bird populations and rates of decline and projecting back into the past um, and taking that, that that data and sonifying it in the form of bird song so that we can have an idea of maybe what dawn choruses sounded like in 1750, 1850, 1950, 2050 and so on. Um, so, so that's why I talk about it being an artistic um, rendition, a composition currently, because there will be other renditions which will be more scientifically based. And I, I, I jokingly hazard to guess that they may sound very similar. Um, but yeah, um, so that's that's pretty neat. And I'm really loving the idea of that uh, that's taking me out of my comfort zone it's not directly related to Taonga Portal um, it's grown out of my usage of Taonga Portal um, so it has a heart that is the same heart um, and, uh, and and yet it's a, a field that is pretty neat and exciting you know the, the whole idea of um, of creating music without Tong Portal um, and, uh, and being generated in another different kind of way.